The first subject before we even begin to code is explaining what is hybrid architecture. If we look at the world around us, hybrid architecture doesn't just apply to mobile applications, but the world we live in. The dictionary definition of hybrid is a thing made by combining two different elements. This means we have hybrid cars that combine electric and petrol, and by combining the two elements, we get benefits from both sides. Hybrid applications are no different. They benefit from combining two elements which are native and web technologies such as HTML, CSS and JavaScript. This means you can build interfaces by using HTML and CSS alone. But the magic combination comes with JavaScript. Hybrid apps have extended the JavaScript API to gain access to device-specific features like the camera, file system, microphone, accelerometer, and many more, which are not available through standard web browsers. We can produce hybrid applications on all device OSs, whether they be mobile or desktop. However, this course's origin is around mobile apps for Android and iOS. This means we can build our app interface once and then have it deploy on multiple OSs without recoding, which compared to fully native applications, we would have to learn multiple programming languages for the same results. For example, iOS is either Objective-C or Swift and Android apps are written in Java. Now we must learn two or three completely different complex programming languages just to produce two apps for both platforms. This then becomes burdensome and unlikely will complete the task within tight deadlines. It is however feasible, but not practical. But how do hybrid apps work code wise? Think of a web browser on a tablet or smartphone device. The app itself is a web browser that renders HTML and CSS. Now remove the browser specific interface such as the address bar and remove other specific features like bookmarks and so on. Then we tell this blank web browser to open a specific local HTML page contained within the app. With a little tweak here and there, this now looks and feels like a native application, but there's a problem. How do we get the functionality of a native app? Such as gaining access to the device's camera, microphone, file system, and others. To do this, hybrid apps employ JavaScript with an extended API. For example, let's say our hybrid app wants to take a picture. The first step is to create some JavaScript that will fire the initial call. The JavaScript engine will call up a mini program contained within the app. In the case of PhoneGap, this mini program is classed as a plugin. JavaScript will then pass all of your arguments and settings to the mini program and wait for a response. Now the user will see the OS's camera app open and our app will be waiting in the background. Once the user takes a snapshot, the camera app closes by default and our app returns automatically. During this process, our mini application receives the data from the camera app and returns that data to the JavaScript engine. And then finally, we can grab that data and let's say use that data on a canvas or image element to display the snapshot in HTML. And there you have it, the hybrid architecture in a nutshell by combining native and web technologies. There are some drawbacks, however, to hybrid apps. Hybrid apps are inherently slower than native apps. However, if coded properly, this shouldn't be an issue. Throughout this course, we'll be looking at how to write code with performance and style in mind, such as memory management and taking advantage of hardware acceleration. Making 2D and 3D games is possible in hybrid apps, but native apps will always be faster. 
Hybrid apps have also been found to be more scrutinized by Apple and harder to get entered into the Apple App Store. But web technologies, when used correctly, can yield tremendous results with a native look and feel. Most apps are data-driven and don't require extravagant graphics, which PhoneGap is more than capable. But if you want to develop 2D or 3D games, Ludi is the framework to give you the performance required and is compatible with the PhoneGap API. Even though this may seem extra work, it only takes a little effort compared to building all native apps. My final point is that if you know how to code native apps, you already have a leg up where others don't. This is because you can extend onto the native side of PhoneGap with your own plugins to get the job done. So we do have pros and cons, but overall hybrid apps are becoming the new norm, but native will always have its place.